What a lovely day, my non-existent viewers. I just got back from seeing Furiosa, a Mad Max saga, the fifth installment in the Mad Max franchise that's set between the events of Beyond Thunderdome and Mad Max Fury Road. You guys saw the trailers. You guys know the deal. Anya Taylor-Joy uh, takes the role as Furiosa, the badass action heroine that we met in, in uh, Mad Max Fury Road back in 2015. And, uh, and it's her backstory. It's her origin story. It's her prequel story. It's her and fighting Chris Hemsworth, who plays the villain, as she goes on a revenge quest after leaving the green place that she was born in. All right, so I know I did, like, a, uh, my nine most like I when I reviewed a uh, night swim back in January ugh, vomits that movie was terrible I did my I listed off my nine most anticipated movies of the year you know for 2024 if I had made it like my 10 most anticipated movies of the year list my 10th spot would have been a big toss-up between Furiosa and a quiet place uh, day one I'm very excited for that but yeah Furiosa I gotta say I was not disappointed I mean, this film is two hours and 25 minutes long, and it does feel like more of a slow burner than Fury Road, which, again, Fury Road, I think most of us can agree, is a, it's, is a contemporary sci-fi classic. Like, Tom Hardy absolutely nailed it as, you know, the titular Mad Max. So did Charlize Theron as Furiosa. And Anya Taylor-Joy in this movie, I love Anya Taylor-Joy. She's one of my favorite actresses. But my only real, like, issue with this film is the pacing at a few scenes. I feel like some scenes really could have benefited if it just, like, cut a little more straight to the point. Like, because this film is two hours and, like, 25 minutes long, and Anna Taylor-Joy as, like, the more, like, grown-up, like, Furiosa, because there's the child actress who plays Furiosa, like, in the opening, like, uh, two acts of the movie. This film is actually, like, its storytelling is very, it's quite unique, compared to other movies that we get nowadays. Like, its opening shot is actually reminding me a lot of, like, the opening scene in uh, Mad Max uh, 2, The Road Warrior, that we got with Mel Gibson back in the 80s. One thing I, I kind of... This film kind of reminded me of the Peter Jackson 2005 King Kong remake in a weird sense, where, like, King Kong doesn't show up on screen until, like, an hour into the movie. Yeah, Anya Taylor-Joy doesn't really show up until, like, 45 minutes, like, an hour-ish into the film. Part of me wishes that they kind of just, like... In, like brought her into the story a little sooner than they actually did, but as soon as these, as soon as she's on screen, oh my gosh, my queen, Anya Taylor Joy, like just like Tom Hardy as Mad Max in Fury Road, Anya Taylor Joy as Fury Road as Furiosa doesn't really say that much throughout the film, but just the look on her face, like just says it all. Like she means business. And the action scenes, the stunt work, the choreography. Like, I'm assuming that this film had more CGI in it than Fury Road did. Because Fury Road was, like, mostly, like, stunt work. Like, actual stunts and practical effects with some CGI mixed in. I'm, assu like, I'm assuming I'd like to believe that this film balanced out the two in the same way. With some more CGI in it, of course. But, yeah, like, the, the action scenes, the cinematography, the stunt work, the visual effects. Ugh, this film is absolutely stunning and i loved the chemistry that furiosa has with a uh, chris hemsworth character chris hemsworth my man chris hemsworth i know it's really not a hot take at this point the mcu is really past its golden age i'm so happy for the guy that he's like finding work outside of marvel because he clearly just had a blast of being in this movie like as the main antagonist you know because of course there's chris hemsworth in this film as like the main antagonist that furiosa is like seeking her vengeance towards but morton joe who we were introduced to in fury road is back as well and like the world building the lore is just more in depth and we actually get to see the green place and I'm wondering, like, if George Miller plans on directing a sixth Mad Max film, like, what direction are they going to take this world in next? Like, I would really love to see that. I know that, like, this film's not on any streaming services, but even if this film was on a streaming service, like, please, I strongly encourage you to go out and see it in the theaters, because this kind of, like, zany craziness with these big action spectacles with the big explosions and the cars and the gunfights and everything... It has to be experienced on the big screen. Both that and the performances from Anya Taylor-Joy and Chris Hemsworth and everyone else in this film. Like, everyone just hats off. Excellent job. Despite some issues that I had with the pacing. So, I'm giving a Furiosa, a Mad Max Saga, an 8 out of 9 stars. It's an awesome film. Alright, so... For those of you who've watched all five Mad Max films like me in the comments, let me know. What is your Mad Max ranking? Like, what is your order from, like... 
least lovely day to most lovely day. He he he. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't done so already. My name is TVB9. Wishing you guys an excellent night. Stay beastly.